I've typed a few entries in my AdventureWorks spreadsheet. Some things, like mountain bikes and road bikes, will be repeated again and again, and occasionally I'll type a customer's name more than once. If I want to, I can let Excel complete the entries that are repeated over and over again for me instead of typing them myself. I'll place the cursor in cell A4 and the next product I want to type is road bikes. I'll type R and the highlighted text is what Excel entered for me guessing that after the R I wanted to type road bikes. Since that's correct, I'll press the tab key and now I'll type the customer's name, Abigail Henderson. Her name looks just slightly too long for the width of this column and I'll fix the column width in just a bit. Now I'll type in the amount 3,578.27 and press tab. Now notice as I type the year in just a second, Excel won't try to complete that for me. Years you have to type yourself. So I'll type in 2010 and then I'll place the cursor in cell A5. This time I want to type mountain bikes. I'll type the M and the highlighted text is what Excel filled in for me. Now by the way, Excel won't always guess right and I'll give you an example of that in the practice session at the end of the course. I'll press tab. Abigail is also buying mountain bikes, so I'll type A, and Excel correctly filled in the rest of her name for me. Now I'm going to fix this column width so that her name is more readable. In an earlier movie, I showed how to do that using the ribbon, and this time I'll show you a mouse shortcut. I move the cursor up to the top to the very edge of column B and the cursor turns into a four-headed pointer. Then I'm going to click twice or double click and now the column's wider. Sales amounts are listed in column C. If you want currency symbols for the numbers you can type them in yourself or you can let Excel enter them for you. First I need to select the cells that I want Excel to format. So I'll click in cell C2, then depress the left mouse button and drag down. Now I'm also going to drag down cells that I haven't typed in yet, because eventually I will, and this way I'll pre-format the cells with the currency symbol. I'll release the left mouse button, move the cursor up to where it says number, and then move to this little tiny symbol. It's called the dialog box launcher. Anytime you see this symbol, you'll know that more commands are available, and you get them by clicking. The Format Cells dialog box is revealed with the number tab showing, and there's a category of different things that I could select. In this case, I want currency, so click that. Then in the symbol box, it says none, but I want the dollar sign for the United States since that's where I am, and I'll click OK. Now I'll click to deselect the cells. As you can see, the currency symbol has been added. Now, I'll type in an empty cell so that you can see that Excel will automatically apply the currency format. Type in my next number, 4,567.32, and press tab. And if you look at cell C5, you can see that the currency symbol is there. Now later, if I needed to apply a different currency symbol, I just select by dragging the numbers and then go back up to where it says number but this time point at the dollar sign and the arrow next to it and click the arrow next to it. And here are the different kinds of currency symbols that I could choose from. I'll just click in the spreadsheet to get rid of that menu since I don't need to change anything now. First, I'll change the spreadsheet that I'm working on. I'll move my cursor down to the very bottom of the spreadsheet to where it says Sheet 1, and I'll click Sheet 2. Sometimes you might find yourself typing certain things over and over again, like the days of the week, for example. Well, you don't have to type the list. Just start it out and let Excel finish it for you. So, for example, I'll start with Monday. Then I'll move my cursor until it becomes the black plus sign, and I'll depress the left mouse button and drag down. And there's a screen tip that tells me that Tuesday will come next. Then as I drag Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday, and so on. And this will also tell me where I want to stop, which is at Sunday. I'll release the mouse button, and the list is filled in, and the only thing I had to type was Monday. I'm going to widen this column so that Wednesday is more readable. I'll move the insertion point up and double click and there you can read Wednesday. You can do the same thing with the days of the month uh, but say I don't want all the 12 months I just want the second quarter which starts with March so I'll type March move my cursor until it becomes the black plus sign depress the left mouse button and drag April May. And you can do numbers. Say that you wanted a series such as 2468. So I'll type 2, but in this case I need to give Excel a lot more of a hint as to what I want. So press Enter, type 4, and I need to press Enter again. Then I'll drag, depressing the left mouse button, release the mouse button, move the cursor till it's a plus sign and drag down. And I could go for as long as I want, but I'll just stop here at 38 and there's my series.